All right, so today we're going to be looking at this little jump pack, this jump starter, which was sent to me at no charge for this review. Super handy little devices. If you don't have one, you definitely need to get one. Now, this little power pack right here is going to be good for a 5.5 liter diesel engine or a 7.2 liter gas engine and anything below that. 1600 peak amps and the current amp is 800 amps. So uh, what that means is a typical passenger car is going to take anywhere between 300 and 700 amps to get it to turn over, get it to start. And so uh, this is going to be the perfect size for your passenger cars. When you get up into the larger vehicles, like what I have is a 7.4 liter uh, gas engine. It's a one ton dually. That's going to struggle to, uh, that's probably going to overload this system and it's not going to be able to work if I have a flat battery in the winter time. Now, I don't have any flat batteries here today, uh, but what I am going to show you are all the features that are available on the jump starter. I'm going to show you how to hook it up correctly, and then I'm also going to show you how to hook it up incorrectly just so that you know what happens when you have it right and what happens when you have it wrong. Now, if you do happen to connect it wrong, it's not going to hurt the jump pack and it's not going to hurt your battery. The only thing it's going to do is give you a beep and to indicate to you that it's not hooked up correctly. So what we have here are our alligator clips. Of course, this is going to connect to your negative terminal and your positive terminal. This is going to plug into the positive negative side of your jump pack. And then we're going to get a, a flashing LED indicator letting you know that we are connected and we're ready to connect to the battery. When we connect to the battery, we're going to get a steady green light letting us know it's okay to turn the engine over. Or we're going to get a red beeping light indicating that we have crossed our wires. So right here we have a USB-A port and that USB-A port is going to allow us to use this jump starter as a charger for our phones. If we were in an emergency situation, we needed to make an emergency text, an emergency phone call, we can get a little bit of juice from our jump pack. You do have a large digital display letting you know how much is left in the jump pack. And we're sitting at 70% right now. And it does say 70% out because we have it connected to a USB-A. Um, you do also have a USB-C, so you can do a USB-C to USB-C, or you can use this as a USB-C in, and you can charge this um, at, from the USB-A charge port, just like that. Now it says that it is in. So we've just pulled the charger out, and it does look like we have an LED light on it. So I think that if we long press our power button, we'll turn that light on, and then if we short press it, then we get the strobe, and if we short press it again, then we get the SOS. Again, these are going to be in emergency situations. If we're stranded alongside the road, we can get somebody's attention with these flashing lights. One more short press turns it off. Now, underneath this cover right here is where we are going to be able to uh, hook up our jumper cables. And here you can see you have one square, one circle, one positive, one negative, which means that you can only hook this up one way. You can't mess it up. So I do have a battery right here, and uh, we'll see if we can't get this hooked up and, and show you the proper way to hook this up, and then what happens when you hook it up the incorrect way. So once we plug these in, there is a green flashing light, LED light, meaning that it's ready to connect to the battery. So we are going to first connect it correctly, and I really don't even know if this is a good battery or not. So we're going negative to negative and positive to positive. And when we do that, we've actually got, we do have a green steady light now. And you can feel it. Listen, it's kicking peak amps in so that we can now turn the car over. Now, if I was to hook this up the incorrect way, again, it's not going to hurt the battery and it's not going to hurt the jumper. We're going to get a red LED light. And we also should get a beeping indicator letting you know it's wrong. Red lights on the other side. So again, that doesn't hurt the jump pack and it does not hurt the battery at all. It just lets you know that you've got it, your wires crossed and you need to switch them. So that's how that works. These are, again, super handy, really nice devices. Uh, I think that every vehicle should have one of these. These are replacing the jumper cables simply because of their convenience, their small size, their ease of use, and it's harmless to use. It doesn't hurt the jump pack and you don't hurt your battery uh, unless you are overloading it 
by continuously turning that key over and over and over again on a battery that's dead and it's not going to start the vehicle. So 1600 peak amps is going to get just about every vehicle up to a 7.2 liter gas engine, 5.5 liter diesel engine. And again, these are replacing jumper cables. Every vehicle needs to have one. And I think that if you was to purchase this one here, you would not be disappointed.